वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लचिस दैट विल बी यूज टू ट्रांसमिट द पावर एंड मोशन फ्रॉम ड्राइवर साप टू ड्रिवन साप सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो देर इज अ कंसिडरेशन ऑफ टाइप्स ऑफ क्लचिस द कंप्लीट गाइड दैट विल बी यूज इन टू द डिफरेंट ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्रीज सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ अवर टॉपिक्स विद द introduction of clutch so in that case clutch is one of the form of the couplings or you can say that will be having a similar kind of applications like couplings that we already learned in my previous videos of couplings so clutch is used to transmit the power from driving shaft to driven shaft of machine which may be required to start or stop frequently so it is designed that the two members may be engaged or disengage whenever required either by hand operated device or automatically by the action of some of the power driven systems so generally that will be used for easily engaging and disengaging whenever that will be the requirements so similar kind of applications like couplings to transmit the power from driving shaft to driven shaft so here it will be the some of the classification of the clutches so generally that will be dividing into four categories the first one mechanical clutch second pneumatic kind of clutch hydraulic kind of mechanism is being used to control or operate the clutch and electromagnetic clutches so here for the mechanical clutch positive contact clutch and friction clutch now the positive contact clutch that will be dividing into two categories jaw clutch and toothed clutch and for the friction clutch disc clutch then cone clutch and last one it will be having a centrifugal clutch so in this video i am more focusing on to the friction clutch or you can say centrifugal clutch cone clutch jaw clutch and disc kind of clutches so starting with the friction clutch so friction clutch is in the transmission of power between two machine shaft which may be required to start or stop frequently so the force of friction is used to start the driven shaft from the rest and gradually brings it up to the required speed so generally friction is being used to connect and that will be used to transmit the power and motion so in automobile friction clutch is used to connect the engine to the driven shaft this is a application of an friction clutch here the single disc clutch or you can say disc clutch so here the figure shows that that will be the engaged positioning of the driving flange to the driven flange so here left side just you can see over here driving shaft that will be connected with the driving flange with the application of key so permanently driving flange that will be attached to the driven shaft so by the application of driven shaft driving flange it will be also having a rotating components and on other hand by the operating lever just you can see over here so by the pressing of that particular foot pedal or you can say operating lever that driven flange that will be connect with the driving flange with the application of friction disc so that friction disc or you can say driven flange it will be reciprocates or you can say movement take place with the application of splines that will be attached onto the driven shaft so the both the driving flange and driven flange are in connections so you can easily transmit the power and motion from driving shaft to driven shaft and with the application of spring that will be having a uh, providing some of the pressures so that will be the engage position of a single plate disc clutch now we will see that the disengage positioning of the clutch so with the application of foot lever it will be the engage and disengage so generally that will be 
depends upon the different kind of requirement of the machines or in automobiles. Just you can see the animate view of a disc clutch so by the application of foot pedal that will be the engaging of a so the disc clutch in this clutch there are two flanges one keyed rigidly to the driving shaft by the feathers key or you can say the splines so that it may be moved along the shaft driven flange may be pressed against the driving flange by the operating of a lever the torque is transmitted by the friction between the flanges with the friction disc they are used into the trucks and various kind of buses second one and that will be the cone clutch says we see the engage positioning of a cone clutch so here just you can see the left side the driving shaft that will be permanently connecting with the driven driving conical cone and the second or you can say the driven shaft that will be connected with the driven conical cones so by the operating of a lever just driven conical cone that will be contact with the driving conical cone so here just you can see that the driven conical cone it will be move with the application of the splines from the driven shaft so by the application of the foot lever driven conical cone it will be connected with the driving conical cone so you can easily transmit the power and motion from the driving shaft to the driven shaft so here just you can observe the different kind of engage and now we will see the disengage positioning of a conical cone so just you can say by operating of a lever whenever it will be required from the engagement and disengagement from the driving shaft to driven shaft so here just you can see the disengagement positioning of a cone clutch so cone clutch torque is transmitted using the friction between internal surface of one mounted on the driving shaft and external surface of another cone mounted on a driven shaft as we already discussed into the engage and disengage positioning of a cone clutch the cone on a driven shaft can move actually by a suitable mechanism or you can say onto the splines cone clutch can be coupled to shaft without excessive axial pressure but it is difficult to disengage therefore it has a uh, become an obsolete now we will see the animated view of a engage positioning of on clutch by the application of foot lever just you can see over here it will be easily engaging and disengaging of the clutch so you can easily transmit the motion and power from the driver shaft to driven shaft so just you can observe the engage and disengagement positioning of a cone clutch so right now this will be the engage positioning of and and now if it will be the centrifugal clutch so just you can see the side view of a centrifugal clutch so here it will be the driving shaft which will be connected with the four kind of shoes with the application of spring so that driving shaft it will be rotated so with the application of centrifugal force that so it will be inner side of contact of a rim so just you can see over here rim pulley liners so by the application of speed or you can say or controlling of the speed driving shaft it will be connected with the fix that spring and the so or you can say the spider and that will be connected with the inner side of the rim so this kind of clutch it will be only operating by the application of different kind of speed if your speed is increasing so centrifugal force is automatically increasing and that particular shoe which will be used to connect to the inner side of the rim so this one is a simplest form of a centrifugal clutch 
So, in centrifugal clutch, this type of clutch is used to connect the two parts of a transmission after the driving part has attained a defined speed of a rotation. The shoe are pulled inward by the springs and forced outward due to the centrifugal action by the rotation of driving shaft. When the driving shaft attains the certain speed, the centrifugal force on the shoe increase and become greater than the spring force. The shoes are engaged with the inner surface of the cylindrical drum which is a driven member. So, already we discussed in the previous figures. So, it is used. Let us see the animated view of a centrifugal clutch. So, after starting of a clutch, so it will be having a, some kind of RPM whenever it will be increasing the speed of that particular engine shaft or can say driver shaft. So, with the application of centrifugal force, that shoe it will be expanding and that will be touch the inner portion of a rim. So, just you can see the animated view. Now, that would be the engine positioning of the clutch. So, generally that will be controlling by the speed of the engine shaft into the mopeds. Joe clutch, so just you can referring the disengagement positioning of a Joe clutch. So, once again the left side that will be the driving shaft, it will be connected with the fixed Joe with the projections and another end or you can say the right side the driven shaft. Once again, it will be having a sliding jaws with the recess. So, you can easily engage in the fixed jaw with the projections with the sliding jaw with the recess with the application of lever. So, just you can see the engagement positioning in next figure. So, here by the application of operating lever, our engagement and disengagement of a jaw clutch so, you can easily transmit the motion and power from the driving shaft to driven shaft. So, in jaw clutch, the jaws clutch consists of segmental projection on one of the flange and corresponding recess on the other flange of the driven shaft. Driving flange rigidly keyed to the driving shaft while the other flange is keyed to the driven shaft by the application of splines so that it is can be slide on that particular shaft. By the pressing the lever fix flange to transmit the motion and power from the driving shaft to driven shaft we already discussed. So, this clutch is used in agriculture equipments like tractors and thrashers etc. So, so if, if you like it, it then subscribe, then subscribe and share mechanical, mechanical magic, mechanical, mechanical learning, learning tutorials. tutorials. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much.